It's a sad fact that so many more families are in need right now because of the pandemic. In fact, more than four in 10 households say that they are making less now than they did before the pandemic hit. That's according to a new survey from bankrate.com. Locally, the United Way of St. John's County wants to help. But uh, they need donations for their empty stocking fund. News Index reporter Ashley Harding joins us live this morning. And Ashley, the focus this year really is on basic needs. It really is, Bruce and Jennifer. You know, when you think of an empty stocking fund, you may think of things like donated presents, but the CEO of the United Way of St. John's County says what's really needed is money for basic necessities, especially food. United Way of St. John's County has helped families in need for years, but these days, its president and CEO, Melissa Nelson, is literally seeing that need grow. Emails in the middle of the night, uh, messages on our Facebook page, um, letters that we receive here at the office, it is truly moving. That's why Nelson says donations are needed more now than ever. She says families throughout St. John's County neighborhoods are struggling with the challenges of COVID-19. Nelson tells me United Way of St. John's County typically sees the most needs in the more centrally based neighborhoods of St. Augustine, but she says more recently the numbers are rising in the northern part of the county on the east and west side. Nelson says the empty stocking fund last year helped 505 St. John's County families. Right now it's nearing 610 with calls still coming in. Nelson couldn't hide her emotion as she talked about those numbers. I never anticipated that, uh, you know, you could hear so many stories and see so many families that, you know, working families, those are the people that we help that are just between a rock and a hard place. The best way to donate is through the website, and Nelson says giving just a little could make a world of difference. People are happy to purchase toys, and we frequently think of that cute little toy for a two or three or four year old, but it's a 14 year old that's hungry. And once again, the best and quickest way to donate is through the website. Just go to our website, newsforjacks.com, and find the link to do that. Live this morning, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.